Mother's Day. Before we start, let's pray together. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for today's Shine Kids Club. I pray that whatever we learn, we we'll understand it and enjoy it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello guys, it's time for some ice baking. Let's join up with the lab for some fun. Our next game is called Time Bomb. In this game, this is the time bomb. And each player must throw this to their partners as fast as possible. There is a timer. Once the timer starts from 20 and hits zero, this time bomb explodes. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! Our timer starts now. 20. Martin. I love my mother because she prepares my best meals. Happy Mother's Day. Shine, I shine, you shine, we shine. Bye bye. Hi guys, my name is Alicia Brobeyaba and I love my mommy because she reads me bedtime story. Happy Mother's Day. Shine, I shine, you shine, we shine. Bye bye. I know you love dancing. Let's put on our dancing shoes and enjoy this dance video. taken from Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Let's learn it together. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. 
Respect your mother and father so that you may live a long time in the land that I am giving you. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Let's take it again. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Respect your mother and father so that you may live a long time in the land that I am giving you. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Now let's take out some of the words and see if you can remember. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Respect your and father so that you may a long time in the that I am you Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 let's see if you were able to get it right Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 respect your mother and father so that you may live a long time in the land that I am giving you exodus chapter 20 verse 12 wow you've done so well now let me try exodus chapter 20 verse 12 respect your mother and father so that you may live a long time in the land i am giving you exodus chapter 20 verse 12 amen hi everyone hi, hi antiba it's so exciting that today we get to have our Bible chit chat together. This whole week we've been learning a lot of wonderful things about our mothers. You see, it's Mother's Day. So I want every one of us to share with our friends and those at home what you learned during your special time with God throughout this week. Yes, we started. Yes, dear. I learned that mommy disciplines you because she loves you. Yes, mommy disciplines you because she loves you. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Let's clap for her. Yes, who is next? Nana. I learned that I must never forget the good advice mommy gives me. We must never forget the good advice that our mothers give us. Clap for him too. Yes, Alicia. I learned that I must always pray for my mother. Yes, you must always pray for your mommy. Mommies need our prayers every day. Have you been praying for your mother? Yes. yes. That's very good. Continue and keep it up. God bless you. All that well. Let's clap. <laughs> so today for our Bible Church Chat, we are coming to listen to a wonderful story about how a mother loved her child. So we are all going to read from our Bible. And the story is from Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 2. The story is about Moses. I think it's about who? Moses. Okay. A time came. Do you all remember when Joseph went to Egypt? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So Joseph and all his relatives went to live in Egypt. And God blessed them so much that they were plenty on the land. So a new king came to Egypt. And then he was so scared. He had not heard about Joseph. Joseph's story. So he was so scared that, hmm, these Israelites are too many on this land. We must do something about this. So he called his elders and he said, Make sure that all the children that are born to the Israelites, the boys are all killed and then the girls are allowed to live. So they gave that order to the midwives. And then the midwives looked at all the beautiful children. Would you have killed them if you were the midwives? No. No, so they didn't do that. They feared God. So they allowed all the children to live. So they became more and more stronger on the land of Egypt. One day, one man married from his tribe. He said he married from the tribe of Levi. And then he gave birth. He and his wife gave birth a thousand baby boy. Who has a little brother here? Or a baby in their house? Yes. Okay. Do you know what one thing that babies always do? What do they do? They cry. They cry! So this baby Moses, he was always crying. Who has who, who knows how babies cry? Yes, Alicia. Yeah. They 
they were crying. The baby was always crying every day. So the mother decided that, hmm, the way this my baby is crying all the time, if I keep him, he'll be caught. But he, she tried, she kept the baby. For the first three months, she kept the baby hidden in her room so that nobody will find out that she has given birth to a baby boy. Then, one day, the baby was crying, crying, crying. Then the mother said, hmm, the way I love my baby, I think that I have to do something about this. So she made a basket from straw and she put her inside to seal all the spaces inside it. Then she put a cloth inside it and she placed her baby Moses inside the basket. And then she picked the basket and then she went with her eldest daughter and then they went and they put baby Moses in the basket on the river now. Just where the yeah, king, you heard it eh? Wow. Just where the king's daughter and her servants come to bath every day. So they put the baby there. The baby was there inside the basket. The baby was so crying. Hey, this baby it was so crying. And then they went and stood at a distance and they were watching what will happen. Then Pharaoh's daughter came with all her servants and they came to bath in the water because it was a very fast afternoon. So they came for a swim. How many of us have swam before? You know how to swim. Okay. And then they heard a baby's crying voice. Then Pharaoh's daughter said, Hmm, I hear something. Yes, I see a basket. The basket was coming on the water. It was floating, floating, floating. And then she went to pick the basket and she opened it. And there inside was Moses. Baby Moses was inside the basket. And then immediately she saw the how beautiful the baby was looking. Said, This baby is one of the Israelites because they are always beautiful children. So she was like, What will I do? Then suddenly, Moses' mother's daughter came and said, My princess, how can I help you? Should I go and look for one of the Hebrew women to come and breastfeed the baby for you? Isn't that amazing? Yes. So you see, the mother loved the son so much that she made sure that the son was not killed. Do you know that your mother's love you? Yes. It's the same way that your mother's protect you. Right now, I'm going to ask you some questions to see if you really got the story inside your heart. Let's all open to page 49. There are some questions there that I'm coming to ask to make sure that you all remember the story and you heard me well. So, the first question, Alicia, you are answering that question. For how long did Moses' mother hide her son? Three months. For three months. Let's clap for her. He's done well. So, why do you think Moses' mother hid him? Yes, dear Ava. Moses' mother hid him because the Pharaoh wanted to kill all the Israelite nobles. Yes, he wanted to remove all of them from the land. And then God gave her just the right idea to hide her. So, let's clap for her. And now, family, you answer the last question. Who found baby Moses on River now? Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh's daughter, the princess. Let's clap for him. You all done so well. Today, there's an activity, a Mother's Day activity in our magazine that we want all of us to do. Yes, take your pen. And I take your pen. Yes. Let's all do it. I hope you have all finished and all of us at home too have finished writing all about our mom. And you really enjoyed it, did you? Yes. yes. You've done so well. Let's clap for ourselves. Shine! I, I shine, shine, you shine, we shine! shine. Hello guys, it's clap time. Let's join Antina and learn something new. Hello Shine Kids, welcome to another session of activity time. Today we'll be learning how to add some life to our paper bags. Life, 
to our paper bags. So all you will need is any paper bag, whether white paper bag or brown paper bag like I have. Your ribbon, it can be any color as well. A pair of scissors and your glue gun. Okay, sure. So what you need to do, I'll teach you how to make your ribbons look like this, okay? And then I'll show you how to go about it. So now you take your, your ribbon and then you fold it this way. Fold it one like this. And then you fold your other tie, your other end like this. Like you're tying your shoelace. Some of you who know how to tie your shoelaces like this. It's just a trick to tie your shoelace. And then when you fold these two edges like that, and then you fold it inside, like you're trying to tie a knot. Okay? Then you stretch it. Do you see? Voila. And you have a bow. Just for you to get your bow. So when your bowl looks full and complete, then when you're done with your bowl, sorry, you look, you take the edges of your ribbon like this, you fold it over, and then you cut the edge from the end, from the tip that is pointed to the rolled over edge like this. You cut it in a triangular form, okay, or a diagonal line, like this. I'm sure you can see, just like this. So that when you open it now, this is how it looks. It's pretty, right? Exactly. So you repeat this for your um, three other ribbons. Again, you fold, you fold here, and then... You cross it and tie it like you're tying a bow, like you're tying your shoelace, exactly. So you tie it and you, oh, oh, yeah. So, just. Try the two of them like that. And you're good to go. I think this was a bit too tight, but that's fine. So you tie it and then you cut it from this end. Just make sure that you can cut it straight. And then you fold it again. You put the two um, dangling edges together. Fold it this way. And then you cut from, like I told you, the square-like edge inside, upper. I mean diagonally, upwards, like this. And then you have your pretty bowl. And for our last bowl, just the same thing. So as I'm doing it, you'll see how I'm doing it and then it will be easier for you. So you take one edge like this and then you fold it like that. Like you're tying your shoelace. I mean, most of us should know how to tie our shoelaces by now. And then you fold it like yeah. You fold it and you tighten it. And then make sure it's a bit tighter. And then you cut it from the bottom as well. Then this way, you fold it again. And then you cut it from bottom up and then you have that look exactly so you tighten it so now we take a plain looking paper bag and then we place them on it like this one two and three you take your glue gun like i said the glue gun is hot so make sure when you're using it you have an older person helping you, okay? So you apply a glue gun, just a bit of it. Then you place your ribbon there, okay? Then it's stuck there. Then you come to the middle part. You apply a bit of glue gun. You place your ribbon there. 
make sure that everything comes out beautifully okay so you do that and then come to your last ribbon so now you apply a bit of your glue just like this and then here you go just like that see it's coming out very beautifully and for our bottom part you take your ribbon now and you just measure just so that it's not too complicated just take your ribbon put it on the lower part the edge the bottom of your plain paper bag just like this and then you apply a bit of glue on the edge over here and then a bit over here then just a little too in the middle you could I mean you can apply it all the way through if you want to just to make sure that your ribbon sticks well and then you put your ribbing on it ta-da like just like this and then what you do is you cut this and you cut the edge exactly and a second you apply a sec it a second time again at the edges and then somewhere in the middle just a little and a little line a little line a little line then you take your ribbon then you place it on it again just like that you take your pair of scissors cut it straight and beautifully on the edge of your paper bag let the edge of the paper bag guide you okay and then Ta-da! You have your really fancy looking paper bag now just by making ribbon bows and adding a bit of ribbing at the bottom. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed our craft time. Keep sending your pictures to any of the numbers on the screen. Auntie Val, I have a question for you today. Let's hear it. It's from Kupa who is 9 years old. Yeah, Auntie Val. Mother's Day is just tomorrow and I really want to do something special for mom. But my sister and I do not know what to do. We made a card and sang for her last year. What can we do to make her spe feel special tomorrow? Thank you Nana for reading our question for us. You're welcome. And thank you Kukua for sending us your question. That's so sweet of you that you want to show how much you love and appreciate mommy on Mother's Day. Proverbs 31 talks about how amazing our mothers are. So I know you want to do something special to say thank you to her. Actually, there's a Mother's Day craft on page 15 of our Shine magazine and you can do it for her. I am sure that mommy will be so excited. God bless you and keep shining. I love dancing. At Shine, everyone is a star. Let's enjoy these amazing stars. For the week is 
Mother's Day Surprise Come together with your siblings and plan a Mother's Day surprise for your mommy. You can prepare a simple breakfast for her, make a Mother's Day card, or try out the crafts on page 15 of your Shine magazine. Enjoy doing this and don't forget to send us a photo. What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed our program today. Before we close, let's take this lovely song. This is my story. This is my song. You have redeemed me. Call me your own. Better you see. celebrating our mothers and it's a wonderful thing. God loves our mothers and they love us too. Today, I want you to give your mother that surprise of taking Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. That is every mother's heart desire. If you've not made that prayer before, I want you to close your eyes. Let's say this prayer together and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for my mother. Thank you for giving me to her and making her a blessing to me. Today, I ask that you forgive me all my sins and wash me with the blood of Jesus. Dear Jesus, I ask you into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I pray that you continue to also bless my mother so that she will also know you more and more and love you with all her heart. Thank you, O oh God, for making me your child today. Amen. Amen. Now you are a child of God. Jesus lives in your heart. And from now onwards, everything that you do will bring glory to God and will make your mother happy. Continue taking that special time with God very serious. Read your Bible, pray to God, tell God to bless your mother every day and continue to be a good child to your mother. God bless you and keep shining. Hi guys, who is ready for some games? Let's have fun! Alright, this game is called Jump In, Jump Out. The rule is simple. You say what I say and do what I do. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes! 
All right. Ready? Jump in. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Ha! Let's go. Our next one. We are going to do the opposite of what I do, but say what I say. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Day. You'll enjoy awesome activities like puzzles, crosswords, hidden pictures, recipes, crafts, and many other educational stuff. Send your questions and comments to the numbers on the screen or through our WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube channels. Order for your lovely Shine Kids Club t-shirts or wristband and it will be delivered to you.